looks like it's Monday. Oh, lighting. Is that better? Yes. Um, so I just got back from work. <coughs> I'm going to edit tonight's vlog. Um, I also need to watch Game of Thrones. Um, and also look at all this has just arrived. Let me flip you around. I love post day. Um, make sure that there's no addresses on any of them. Um, my mum dropped me ooh, a load of parcels down on Friday night. Um, and I've like put them to one side for a blog and mail YouTube video. What, Percival? But these have just, these arrived on Saturday and today at my mum's. So gonna have a little look in all these i say i put posts aside for like blog unboxings and stuff but i um what what what's that get it get it attack attack it what excuse the mess i was cleaning up the other day and my hoover is absolute pants like seriously pants so um i was like i'll just hoover the carpet with all this uh, hoover the, all the carpet with this little um handheld thing and it didn't happen because obviously what what is the matter what <laughs> i spy you so yes, I'm going to open these and I shall show you what's in them. The first box. So the first box is actually for Percy. I forgot I'd ordered these and I'd just been and ordered him three more packs of Dreamies with my weekly uh, monthly food shop. I don't know what you want pudding. I really don't. Look. What's this? What is it? Get him. Get him. Attack! You've been fed. I, I don't know what it is you want. I don't know what it is that you want. Apart from a smack. You want some treats? Yeah. Okay. I'll just rest that there. You better not leave crumbs all over my newly hoovered carpet. <laughs> Stop that. You like these ones. These are what are they? Tempting beef. Ooh, that sounds nice. But yeah, I totally forgot I'd ordered these for him, and then I've been and ordered him another two boxes of these, um, and two or three more packets of Dreamies. So he's in for a good month. And look, he got a little tortoise turtle. To knack. Yeah. Are they nice? Are they tasty? Are you going to share them with Freddie? I mean, can we just... I knew there was something from Sleek because they emailed me to tell me they'd sent it. But, oh my God, seriously, look at these. <gasps> They're so pretty. I especially love this one. This one's cute. And this one. And this one. <laughs> Basically, I love them all. These two are probably not shades that I can pull off because they're like quite um nude brownie tones um but this one is oh, can we just I mean I don't it's like strange how I get so giddy and excited over makeup does Percy want them Percy want to wear lipstick Percy want them oh no you can smell the catnip yeah Oh, can you smell your treats? Don't be making a mess all over my quilt and my bed. <laughs> we'll open it in a minute for you, mate. I promise. I promise. I better move those out of your way. No, they're not toys. They're mummies to make her look pretty. I really should just stop like interrupting after each pass and just open them all but oh my god I got so excited <laughs> bend the line <gasps> like oh, 
like Percy no this is definitely not for you I don't know what I'm more excited about the fact that I've got the new liner or the fact that there's licorice in there although I can't eat licorice now because I'm a veggie damn I'll have to take it to work tomorrow <laughs> Yet again, I'm stopping and starting, but um, this has come from Rocks and Co. They asked me to choose um, a piece of jewellery off their site, and there were a couple of rings that I liked, that I really, really liked, I absolutely fell in love with them, um, but unfortunately they weren't in my fat finger size. Um, so, instead of saying, well, no, there's nothing else I really like because I've fallen in love with these rings, I decided to get my mum something. Obviously, I'm still going to blog about it, but um, let me open this. But my mum fell in love with this gorgeous ring. I think it was about £90, £89-ish. Um, it's a Mexican fire something. I'm not too sure. I'll have to find the link and I'll put it down below. But yes, my mum absolutely loved this. Look at the fancy box and everything. But it's so pretty it's not really my style um i kind of like the one that i'd seen was um i think it was rose gold with um a black stone in it that had like a gold fire inside of it and just like everything that's black and moody and that was like very black and moody but this is very pretty so <clears throat> As you can see, it's so cute. I'm going to take a picture like this so the camera might cut off. Sorry, bye. Okay, I'm not actually going to open this one on camera because I plan to do an unboxing with it, but it's a new box that's out. And this is the second month of it being out. It's called the Little Known Box. And it's so swanky to say it's only the second box. And even more so when you open it, you can't see what's in it. Don't worry, no spoilers. But look how fancy that is with the little ribbons and everything. It's so cute. Um, I'm going to open this off camera and see what's in it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys in case you've not got yours. And also because I want you to watch the actual unboxing video. <laughs> Method to my madness. Um, right, I'll carry on now. Okay, goodbye. I'm excited to see these. Um, Butterfly Twists are a company that... Um, previously just did like flats shoes um, and they kind of like fold up but they've now branched out into wellies in perfect time because it's festival season and because it's constantly raining in the UK but um, as you can see they're so cute and such blogger colours it's like can I please have the grey and mint green because they're so pretty okay, so I'm currently trying to open the box and Percival is like nope not today are you going to let mummy do it? No. I might chop your paw off. I might do. Just on purpose. <laughs> right. Let's see if I can get into this. Trying to open this with the viewfinder as my eyesight is not the easiest. And I think I've opened it upside down because I didn't want my address on camera. <gasps> Look how prettily it's packaged. Oh, my heart. You cannot. Look, it's so beautiful. I will get back to you when I've opened it. Percival. I came home the other evening, you'll probably see it on this week's vlog, um, and I must have left some bubble wrap out and I came home and it was just shredded all over the floor like strewn across the living room because he's a naughty boy. Are you Percival? Are you going? Anyway back to these. Look how cute they are. I mean oh. they do the letter versions of this as well and they said to me do you want the letter H for your name? I was like no I want an ampersand please because he's so cute. Like, can I open it? Look at it. And when it lights up, it's going to look, look so pretty in the background of um, blog pictures and stuff. And it will also look nice on my desk once I 
clean my desk. Yes, there's a razor case on there. I've been having a sort out and everything's just a bit of a mess. Along with all my vlog stuff. Percy. He's in heaven, he's got boxes. And then this little plate. It's so cute for like trinkets and bits of jewellery and stuff. Again, it's going to look awesome on a flat lay. I think it looks quite nice there. And then this is a bit of a strange one. And a lot of my blog props that I use for pictures are quite strange. Um, like I've just got random plates and stuff like that. Oh, I always stab myself with the scissors. But this is actually a lampshade, as you can see. Um, I think this, these came to, I think this was about £12. This was about a fiver and this was about a tenner. Um, I do have a code as well for you to enter to get... Um, £10 off of a £40 order but it's in the email from the PR and I can't remember what the code is oopsie so I will put it up on the screen and I'll also put it in the down bar um, so yes it's valid until the end of July I believe so £10 off of a £40 order and trust me you will not struggle to spend £40 I could literally go on there and blow the whole of my wage packet there is so much cute stuff um, yes, that's it. Percy, no! My freshly cleaned carpet and house is now a mess. Also, um, I'll try not get the flats in behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the neighbours, well, the people who live opposite outside that window, like looking at me like why is she filming herself why is she filming herself opening parcels um because the curtains are usually closed in here but yes so yes that is my monday i'm now gonna um take all this rubbish down to the bin store downstairs um i also really got to do let's try to hold that camera further away from me sit up straight Haley. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a clean, get some cooking done, um, edit this week's vlog. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Oh, I'm watching Game of Thrones because it's the season finale. That was not a good angle. Um, yes, that's what I have to do. Because my skin is so bad recently. Old people problems. Say bye, Percival. Say bye. Say bye to your fans. <laughs> You're giving your fans the cold shoulder. That's not very nice. Okay, I'm going to try to capture this, but I don't know if he'll let me. He plays fetch. He has this thing. If I throw something for him, he'll like go and bring it back. Percival, go get it. He's not going to do it now. Good boy! Bring it back to mummy. Da. Oop. Oopsie. Yes, well. Are you ready? Good boy. <laughs> yeah, you're taking it off into your corner. Kill it. Good baby. Yeah, you mummy good boy. Again. He must have gone somewhere he can't see it. Oh no, you got it. Yeah. Hi guys. So it's Wednesday night. It is quarter past ten. Um Oh, I've just woke Percy up with my stupid loud voice. Um, yeah, nothing much has happened. Um, still got makeup on. Then I wonder why I've got the skin of a 13 year old child. Um, as you can see, I have some extra sexy skin going on right now. Oh, wait, look at this, my little man. What are you doing? Mm. Oh, look at you being all cute and well behaved. 
Oh, you're tired. He'd actually just when I before I woke him up with my big stupid loud voice, he'd built himself like a little den in here with his little toy. But then I woke him up with my vlogging voice. Um just watching some YouTube. Um I've discovered I say discovered he's got like half a million subscribers nearly. So I've not discovered shit. But I've just found this guy on YouTube and he's really, really good. Um, he's called Jordan Liberty. I can't remember where I found him. I think it was from the comments in Stephanie Nicole's channel, who is another really good YouTuber. But the kind of YouTubers aimed at people more my age, because um, I'm like 30 and old. But I'm not saying they're old, <laughs> just to clarify that. But they're aimed at like older people who don't just want um, giggly, happy, here's another winged eyeliner kind of look. So I'm really liking these. It's really good. Um, but let me put my screen back up and zoom away from my spots. So I've been to work today. Um, my mum goes on holiday on Friday so she asked me to pick her some necklaces up from Primark. I'm also missing the front half of my brow. Um, so I went to Primark to get her some stuff and I was like, oh, I'll um, cuddle, my, cuddle my cushion because I'm a child. So I um, went to Primark to get her some necklaces, picked two up for her and thought, oh, I'll have a look for some clothes for me. Um, because I'm off to a few things this weekend and then I'm in London next weekend but nothing was right at all it's like everything at the minute in the shops making sure I'm not covering the microphone because I still haven't figured out where it is everything in the shops at the minute it seems to be like a bodycon bodysuit um by bodysuit I mean like the leotard where it pins under you for JJ um, and that's just not me at all. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I was slim enough to get away with that, I would wear it. But I'm not. Um, so I was walking around Primark and then I called into New Look and H&M and there's just nothing. Everything is like booty shorts where your ass flaps, ass flaps? Ass cheeks fall out of the bottom of the shorts or bodycon bodysuits and... So I kind of like left Primark and you look feeling fat and old and although well, there was more money in my bank so it's not totally a lost cause I suppose. Um, but yeah, just like the fashion at the minute. Um, and I've got a few of those dresses and tops that are like bardo style off the shoulder. So I called into New Look to pick up a few of them and they just all looked like tents because... I've got like A, B, C, D, E, double D slash E boobs now. They were a double E before. Um, but yeah, so because my boobs are quite big, obviously the top sits like just there on your boobs and then it like flows outwards, kind of. So if that's the boob and that's your tummy, it like just goes like that because my boobs are further away from my chest they just boob talk with Hayley um but yeah it's just so not flattering on me but I don't know why because I picked up like the dress for my holiday and it looks lovely so a bit pissed at that and everything is just like not catered towards people that are not confident enough I'm not gonna say big because there are girls that are not, um, that are a size like 12, 14, 16, 18, whatever, that can wear those styles and they look absolutely amazing in them, but I just can't. I think it's more to do with my perception of it. Is Percy, you want to put it, Percy, you want to put it on? Do you want it? Do you wear it? It's for you. Put it on. Oh, don't you look smashing. Don't you look like the prettiest pussycat going. 
gonna put it on. Oh wow! Look at you. Oh, don't get upset. You're running around like the living room with the Sainsbury's bag on your head this morning. Don't pretend like you're scared now just because you're on the camera and you make me seem like a bitch. Like I don't look after you. What are you doing? Oh, is the camera. Oh, look at that sexy face. <laughs> Percy has gone and got in the carrier bag. Let's go see him. Sorry, the lights are really orange in here. What are you doing in there? Is this your new home? Is this where you live now? Right, I don't know if you can see, but he's got like this massive um, play thing. Oh, nearly kicked him. So he's got this massive play thing. <clears throat> and then like a little scratchy thing next to it. But he chooses to play in the carrier bag. I wouldn't have spent 40 quid on that if I'd have known like a five pence carrier bag would have been your best friend. Morning guys, it's Saturday morning. Um, it's about half past, uh, it's about half past 11. Um, I'm a little bit hungover. Um, on Fridays at work we get... Oh, I'm get asked to hold my arm up. Fridays at work we get um like free drinks on an afternoon or the last Friday of the month, although yesterday was the first. Um and then I got a taste for the alcohols and decided to go out afterwards and got extremely drunk. Which is not good. Um because now I have to go to a cocktail making class. Ow, Percy. <laughs> Now I have to go to a cocktail making class. This is so not a flattering angle, but I can't be bothered with my arm. Yeah, so I got to go to a cocktail making class, which I've said three times now. Um, and I just can't face drinking more alcohol right now. It's not even 12 o'clock. Cool watcher. So yes, it should be fun. I think it's about an hour and a half long. They said you'll actually get to make cocktails. There'll be drinking games and stuff like that. I'm really hoping there's some form of bread. It's not even cocktail related, but I just need something to soak up the alcohol that I had last night and that I will be having today. And then later on, I am off out for Corinne's 30th birthday. But I think I'm only going to have two or three drinks and then move on to water. What's wrong with you? Because I'm getting too old for this. I can't do drinking anymore. <laughs> um, not only that, but we like Weight Watchers. I don't actually drink that much because, because I can't. So my um, tolerance for alcohol has gone down a lot. <clears throat> you sound like a man. I'm so... <laughs> the face says it all. Yes, so... Um... Quick outfit of the day, possibly. Um, so ripped, ripped skinnies. Um, and that's it. Right. Um, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna have ten minutes with Percy, and then, um, I'm gonna set off. I really should have done something with my hair, but what are you doing, Percival? <laughs> class is not happening I just got a call about five minutes before setting off and said it's cancelled but <clears throat> we're gonna have free drinks and alcohol free drinks and food instead as an apology because I was like literally stepping outside for my uber um, yeah so no cocktail making but lunch anyway so that's fun just waiting for Sammy and then we're gonna go in also it's like my first time vlogging in public and I feel an absolute idiot Hey-ho!
for Corinne's birthday in town. Um, excuse the hair, um, I've brushed it yet. Um, so I went to Revolutions earlier and they had to cancel the masterclass um, but they did very kindly um, give us a free meal and some free cocktails. Um, they didn't actually know I was a blogger so it wasn't that they wanted to like keep me sweet and, and whatnot. But so yes, um, going again next Saturday hopefully I need to check my diary on Monday because all my blog stuff is written down at work um, on a spreadsheet. Would you have guessed it? Um, and then me and Sammy, after we had some food and drinks, went shopping. We went to TK Maxx uh, and I went and picked up some hair dyes. Um, they're in my bag over there, then I can't bother getting them. They had loads of Makeup Forever stuff in um, in TK Maxx, which was good. So I got a concealer. Did I get YouTube pose? Is it upside down? No. It's strange because it's back to front, front to back. So yes, and that was £7.99 from £22. And I actually have the foundation of this, the HD one. Oh, this is HD and I have the Ultra HD. Anyway, I have the foundation of it and I did originally want to get the concealer as well, but buying a 30 quid foundation and a 20 quid concealer in one go was a little bit much for me. So I now have this. And... It's in the shade 325, which, if I believe, because it's the HD version, is the same as the shade Y235 in the Ultra HD. So hopefully it should match, but it looks pale enough anyway. Um, as you can see, I need a lot of concealer. So that was my uh, great find of the day. And I also bought a top, which is over there behind me. Um, but it doesn't fit. I knew it wouldn't. I saw it and it was a medium and I was like that's not gonna fit. I got it home and it didn't fit. <laughs> so although it's slimming into a girls kind of thing. So yes I am just going to get ready. Hi hey, yeah, so guys so I'm nearly ready. Um I can't be bothered to turn the music down. Yes I'm listening to like old school niche and garage and pretending I am still 15. But I have no idea what lipstick to wear with my eyes with this eye look even so I'm like proper struggling I'll turn this down. there we go um i have no idea whether to go with like red red and orange and brown no um what do you want hey and nude but all my nudes are like pinky nudes I'm proper struggling. Send help. Hi. Let me turn this off. Boom. So I decided to go with LA Splash Love Struck. Doesn't really match, but hey ho. If you win some, you lose some. I've just got dressed and now I'm like, whew, proper hot. Also, I tried to put a kiss on Corinne's card. Failed. And I had to smudge it out because it just looked like dirt. So yeah, really warm. I can't really be bothered to do much with my hair. Um, so I'm just going to leave it. Excuse the mess in the background. I lost this top, although it's a dress and I just tucked it into jeans. But I lost it and I turned the house upside down looking for it. So all the clothes from the wash basket are on the floor. All you're going to hear in this is... I better not do it too much, I might break a card. So yes, already set. I'm gonna sit down for five minutes, finish the rest of my glass of Prosecco. I haven't finished the whole bottle, by the way. I'm not that much of an alcoholic yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go out. I'm not really, I say this, but I know I will. I'm not really gonna drink. Um, Famous last words. I think I'm just going to have one or two and then move on to water. Um, because I want to film tomorrow and I don't want to film while it's tongue over. So, problems. Look at this. It's so bad. Mm. Mm, nice beadlet of sweat on the top lip. So sexy. Uh, yeah, so I think Corinne's waiting for a taxi as well. We meant to meet at seven and it's now five past. I was just looking at my watch, sorry. Um, but nobody's ever on time. 
I'm gonna sit down for five minutes, uh, finish my Prosecco and then take you with me. So let's go get drunk responsibly. I'm probably not that drunk. It's Karen's 21st birthday today. She's very young. <laughs> All the drinks. She's an old bitch now. I'm alive, guys. Yay. I made it through the night. Um, although I'm still in bed and it's, it is half past two in the afternoon on Sunday. Um, I'm not in bed sleeping. We've been awake since about 10 o'clock, but I'm just festering in my bed with hungoverness and self pity. <coughs> I really need to go to the shop as well, but I've really needed to go to the shop since 10 this morning and still haven't been. Um, I'm not feeling too bad. However, um, I did like say to you guys, oh, I'm only going to have a couple of drinks and then I'm going to go home or I'll switch to water. I did neither of those things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I was drinking Prosecco and beer and gin, I think. Corinne gave me like a rum at some point or was it her friend Lily? I can't remember. So I was drinking rum. Um, so all the drinks I was basically having and then I think I got home about two o'clock-ish. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to edit this vlog like now because I'm away on Tuesday. I'm in London. So I only have I need to edit it now and export it overnight and compress it tonight and then upload it whilst I'm at work tomorrow so that I can get it all scheduled for when I'm in London. Right, I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh no, it's the end of the week. Yes, have a good week. Um Yeah, I will be in London, so I should have some good vlog stuff, hopefully. Um Yeah, have a good week. Subscribe and shit. See you next week.